Hey guys, Andrew Edwards here, and in this edition of Bleeding Edge TV, we're going to give you a look at the 2012 lineup of Gunner, right here, this is what I wear all the time, Gunner glasses, computer glasses, gamer glasses, they're fantastic, and we're going to give you a look at them right after this. Hey guys, Andrew Edwards back here at CES 2012. I'm with Joe from Gunner. How are you doing? Doing great today. Thanks for having me on and uh, really looking forward to talking about Gunner Optics with you. Definitely. So our audience is actually very familiar with you guys because we've actually, or I have used uh, your glasses for the last two years. You handed me a pair two years ago. I put them on and went home and um, nowadays if I use my computer for more than, I don't know, 15 minutes, I'm like, where are those glasses? I got to get them back on. So there definitely is something to the the science um, that you taught us, taught us about last time. But for those who didn't see it, why don't you explain what exactly is Gunner? What do you guys do? Well, good. Gunner makes technology eyewear. That's for anybody that's looking at a screen. And we've got a bunch of different varieties these days for different types of screens in different environments. So we've got our advanced computer eyewear, our advanced gaming eyewear, our premium 3D eyewear, and then our advanced outdoor eyewear. So all for looking at screens, again, different types of environments and different frame designs for different, different end applications. Okay. And we have the glasses here, so let's kind of move back here and you can show us some. And why don't you explain, you know, people are going to notice immediately the yellow tint. What's that all about? Good. The yellow tint is uh, part of us solving the problems with you looking at a computer screen all day. And there are a number of issues with you looking at a computer for extended periods of time. One of them is the quality of the light and that's where the yellow tint comes in. We can actually condition that light and make it easier for your eye to see. Your eye doesn't like artificial light that's not full spectrum light. And we can kind of pull down some of the spikes at the peaks of energy. So that's what the tint does. You can also see, I don't know if you can catch it on camera there, but it's got a little bit of an iridescent coating that um, that's actually an anti-reflective coating that cuts down on the visual noise and the glare that comes off your computer screen. Then another thing that you'll find in the lenses that's really important is it actually has focusing power to it. And it ends up relaxing your eyes because your eye muscles actually have to flex to focus in that near distance. So by having some uh, focusing power and bending the light before it hits your eye, you're actually relaxing your focus and that over the course of a day, that makes a big difference. And one other thing you'll see is all of our glasses have a, a real nice wrap to them. And some of them have a little more than others, but that's to fit your face really nicely. So when it goes on, it sits close to your face and you can actually adjust with the adjustable nose pads to make sure that uh, it fits nicely on you. And that traps in moisture and keeps the drying air currents out. So it keeps the eyes from drying out. And that's a big problem with looking at computer screens as well. So. All of that wrapped up, that's our iAmp lens technology, and it does work, as you, you can attest right, to. Right, 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 okay, and so, and all these glasses, they all have that same technology, but there's nothing like the, the, the gaming glasses don't have a different type than the computer glasses, right? We, we actually get that question a lot, what's the difference between the gaming glasses and the computer glasses? The answer is really in the frames. So, in the frames, we typically, especially for the gaming eyewear, have really low profile uh, temples so that it can slip under headsets, because so many people are using headsets these days. Right, right, okay. Yep. And so, and this is your, what is this, like your upcoming collection or your current collection? We have what we're a, looking at here? a little bit of a mixture. This is our spring 20 or spring 2012 line. We've got a few new styles that are really, really nice. We've gone in and uh, we work with top designers everywhere. We uh, have, this is our new collection with the, called the vinyl and has a kind of retro front with a very highly stylized side. Very cool looking. So the vinyl is coming up. This will be released in April. We have the Epic right here, which is a semi-rimless frame. No, as you can see, no frame down on the bottom, so it's uh, completely unobstructed for people, especially that do a lot of reading. And again, very cool styling. It's got that angularity that Gunner's really known for, kind of futuristic. And here's one of my personal favorites. This is called the RPG. This is in our advanced gaming line. And as you can see, this has spring hinges on it. We're calling it quad core technology because there are actually four springs hinges on there. But those make a big difference for adapting to fit your face. Great coverage on these, and as you can tell, magnesium, aluminum, very lightweight. It's uh, it's a great style, good coverage, really nice for this upcoming uh, spring line. Okay. What's the price range of the glasses? In general, the sweet spot's about 80 to 120. We do have styles that are higher, and especially our prescription range. If you get a custom prescription and you're paying out of pocket, it can be 400 to 700 because we do have a partnership with Carl Zeiss Vision. They're the best 
optics company out there, bar none. They custom grind every prescription down to really exacting tolerances using our technology, our tints, and our lens geometry. But they truly can manufacture a, a lens that's unparalleled out there. Now, prescription eye amp lens. Exactly. Okay. The good news is that a lot of vision insurance plans do cover computer lenses, and so more than likely or not, if you have computer or excuse me, uh, vision insurance, then your computer lenses will be covered. So it's like getting a free pair of glasses. Very nice. Very nice. Now let's walk over here to your uh, advanced outdoor eyewear. And obviously when you're outdoors, I'm assuming, you're not using a computer, so um, you're not going to have the IAM technology in here, but what makes these gunner glasses versus you know what you'd find with others well it's interesting you said you don't use a computer in the outdoors but the reality is you do interact with your electronics quite a bit in the outdoors and that's what we design all of our eyewear to do is interact with electronics and what we have here is actually a lens that works very well with LCD screens on your phone or avionics in a cockpit or if you've got a digital dashboard in your car what you'll find is with polarized eyewear, a lot of times it'll blank the screen out totally. So we have a way to reduce glare without polarization. And we also have some unique gradient lenses that actually allow your, instead of uh, having all of that bright light hit your eye and really make your iris constrict and you can't see enough light coming off your screen, we've put a gradient lens in there to where it's bright because you hold your electronics usually in the lower third of your field of vision, but um, it doesn't really, it's, it's still shielding a lot of the, uh, the, the bright light in the upper two thirds of the lens. Okay. So again, we're very much about your digital experience, whether it's in the indoors or in the outdoors. Okay. And so, and this line is available right now, all these, all four pairs? Uh, correct. And uh, if you go to gunners.com, and it's G-U-N-N-A-R-S.com, you can find the full collection there. and buy them right away, they're great for everybody. And again, we, we really, in everything we do, try and make them lightweight, very ergonomically correct, adjustable. These all have adjustable nose pads, and uh, of course, styling is uh, an important thing. They'll make you look good. Right, now what's the uh, price range on the outdoor? Same sort of deal where we do, the, the sweet spot's kind of in that 80 to 120, and we do have a few styles that are more, they'll go all the way up to 180, 200, depending on the, the frame styles that are extremely, uh, you know, highly crafted that way. How pimp you want to look, basically. All right, yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Depends on how good you want to look. <laughs> all right, and then let's go over here to the 3D eyewear. There's a little party going on over here, but hopefully we can see, jump in. All right, so here's the 3D eyewear that you guys are, and we actually talked about this last year, how um, you guys are trying to kind of change the industry or make it not only more stylish, but more comfortable with 3D because uh, 3D is not just for entertainment anymore. Actually, doctors are using it now and things like that. So why don't you tell us about what you guys are trying to do in this realm? And it's interesting you mentioned doctors because we really do cater to the professional out there that's using 3D eyewear for what they do all day. And if you look at what is off the shelf, kind of if you go to a movie theater and you get the, you know, the 25 cent throwaway pair, that is not applicable to an all day use. Or even if you want to sit down and watch a, you know, two hour movie or, you know, even a, let's say a Super Bowl in 3D, you need eyewear that number one is comfortable and ergonomic, but number two has optics that are gonna work with you and not against you. So this premium 3D eyewear really is for the professional, someone that is using 3D eyewear in that environment and they can use it all day long if they if they need to. Okay, here, so, so that was some, some of the differences between uh, what you'd get in uh, like a, those plastic wrapped real 3D glasses versus these. Well, let, let me tell you, first from a lens standpoint, what you find in the plastic kind of computer, or I'm sorry, the theater glasses is not truly a lens. All they're doing is stamping out, you know, as fast as they can, film, and then injection molding around it, and it creates a terrible optical experience. They're actually detracting from the optics instead of enhancing the optics. Whereas what you see from us, you see a truly curved lens. It's stable in all three dimensions. It's thick. You actually have to, we. Uh, instead of being a, a very thin film, we have to create this thickness so that it's stable so we can control the light as it comes through. And it, it's all made on ophthalmic machinery. So the same sort of stuff that you would make your eyewear on for your custom prescription, we make that, uh, use that same sort of machinery to make these. And just to mention, these are ophthalmic frames as well too, the, the same sort of thing that you would find in your eyewear that you wear all day every day. So spring hinges, that's a, makes for it very nice and comfortable so that it'll adjust to fit your head. Adjustable nose pads, and if you sit down with your eye doctor or your optician, they can adjust this so it really precisely fits you. You put them on and you don't notice they're there. Okay. They're for all day use.
It's a big, big, big difference. And not just that, I mean, and so for people that want that all day use, that's good, but also, like we have here, uh, LG makes a 3D TV that is not an active shutter TV, so you don't have to buy those really bulky, really expensive, and really, uh, they run out of battery quickly, 3D glasses, you actually use these and like, have those at home. And we are very firmly behind the passive technology. You know, there are some great things about the active side, but they are a little clunky and you've got issues with syncing and being in line of sight. We really feel like the passive technology is a better user experience. We see the professional you know, communities out there adopting passive much more so than the active. And so we've made glasses that are compatible with it. So you can use these with LG TVs, Vizio TVs. You can walk into any real D theater and almost all the laptops and computer monitors that are in 3D are also compatible with our glasses as well too. Very nice. And uh, just to get pricing out of the way on these, what can people expect to pay for uh, the Gunner 3D glasses? Uh, the style that I have in my hand right here, this is the Midnight, and it's not cheap. You know, you're going to pay 160 bucks, but you are getting top of the line, top quality. They have a 24 karat gold anti-reflective coating on there, and it's not to make it stylish or you know, pimp you out gangster style. It's actually because if you think about like the NASA space shields that go into spacesuits, those actually have a gold anti-reflective coating. It is part of the optical system. It allows more light through with the AR code on there. We can actually get 10% more light through than anyone else can. And that's a big amount when you're talking about a 3D picture because it's all about brightness and about the, the vibrant colors. It's a big deal. Right, right. And I actually noticed that when I was watching, uh, I think it was Captain America that I was playing over here, that when I put those on, it, it didn't dim the picture out like is typical when you put a pair of 3D glasses on. Well, and that's what we've been working for is the absolute best optics, best picture, vibrant, true to life. And we have a lot of big names in the Hollywood industry that use these exclusively. Uh, in fact, we had one of the big name producers, I probably can't name him, but he was on location in Moscow and his assistant called us up and said, you know, I'm so sorry, but uh, you know, so-and-so forgot his glasses at home. Can you FedEx us some to Moscow? Cause he really needs them right now. Wow. Hooked on gunners. Nice, nice. Anything else we need to know about your current lineup? Just the fact that we do have a lot of great partnerships out there. I mentioned to you before the, the uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 limited edition has been a huge buzz for us. There are a couple on the shelves out there still, not a lot, but get them while you can because it's a beautiful style, great glass, and again, Modern Warfare 3 is a big deal. Very cool, and as we said, people can learn more at Gunners.com. So the company is Gunner, the website is Gunners with an S, G-U-N-N-A-R-S.com. Check them out, we endorse them ourselves, we love them. Joe, thanks a lot for showing us uh, the upcoming line in the current lineup and uh, we wish you luck in all this uh, hey thanks for having us on and uh, for everyone out there get your gunners I, you know you mentioned at the start of the interview that you went with them for a couple days now you can't go without we don't put you know crack in there or anything but they are addictive and you will you will realize how bad you had it before after you've had it good with gunners right right cool stay tuned we'll have more ces 2012 coverage from gearlive.com